Thanks to the commission's tireless effort. Gather around, everyone. We're ready to begin. Thanks to you, we've made great strides towards understanding the tracks that have turned up across the continent. Our okay. researchers have done some projections. And now, we know where Zora Magdaros will go next. Okay. It's heading for the Great Ravine. The Great Ravine? The huge valley out past the Wildspire? Correct. So I have a proposition for all of you. I say we try and capture Zora once it gets there. Have you oh. gone mad? Capture it? Hear me out. The ravine is the perfect terrain for staging such an event. We're not going to get a better chance than this. If we don't take this opportunity, it could be a decade before the next stop is All even right. possible. If I said it wasn't, would that stop you? <laughs> Let's give it a go. With the fifth supporting us, our chances are as good as ever. Then All it's right. settled. Before we send the hunters out for the capture, we need to secure Astera. An Anjanath has been active in the area. Not the kind of monster you toy around with. We'll need a plan for it. You're right. All right. Hunters, you have your next assignment. But be careful. The Anjanath is a fearsome monster. One slip up and you're done. All Commander, right. Commander, if I may, I think I have a great idea. Lock. Hunter, I could use your help. Drop by later, if you will. Another thing. That troubling report we received. Think you could... Right. Good, then. Let's get this show on the road. We have an elder dragon to capture. Everyone dismissed. Alrighty. We should probably listen to what the chief botanist has to say before we do anything else. I completed my bounty, right? Hello. Alright. Wildspire waste. Okay. I don't know about the event quest. Oh, fill research honey. Gather honey five times. Let's do that. Gather honey three times. Ancient forest. Okay, let's do that. Uh, flora. Gather plant seven times. Uh, field research mushroom gather mushrooms from time small monster culling slay eight small monsters okay I guess we can register them we haven't got that yet <laughs> slay gaju Let's talk to the botanist, I guess. Nice. Geo... Zora Magdora. So that's the Elder Dragon. This one, right? A large Piskin's variant that inhabits the swamp of the Wildspire West. It uses mud to capture prey and is known battle over territory. Okay. Let's talk to the botanist, I guess. What do you want? Whoa. Okay. <laughs> New specialized tool added Gilly Mantle. Okay, specialized tools refer to clothing and equipment that grants you useful unique skills. For example, using a Gilly Mantle will temporarily prevent monster from being able to see you. Specialized tools must be equipped and then used as items for their effect to be activated. Uh, they can be used 
an unlimited number of times but have then cool down uh, time after each use okay i see uh, in that case our next assignment is to hunt a toby kadachi we should be able to find it in the ancient forest all right all right let's do number seven isn't this one gilly mantle so let's put that on number four actually Conceal yourself from view temporarily. The effect sends if you perform an attack. Ah, I see. Alright. Let me see if any new things got opened up. So, let's go optional one. Let me do this one, learning the clutch. Let's see what that does. <laughs> the clutch claw lets you grapple onto a monster and then attack with your weapon to soften his hide. Okay. By pressing C plus Q, your weapon is... Uh, Note, Lance, Insect, Lair, Bogan, and Bow requires you to switch to Unseat Slinger mode by pressing C plus Q. Okay. Okay. I see. Oh, I see. Change the monster's direction. Unleash all your single ammo, Slinger ammo in a flinch slot. Okay. Okay. While grappling onto the monster. Okay. So I can use that. Okay. Softening a monster's hide. Okay. After performing a weapon action, press C to unleash a single slinger burst with ingre increased slinger ammo functionality. Okay. Let's get you up to speed on using the claw. Here's a crash course. Let's go over the basics first. Use your clutch claw with your weapon sheathed. That's it. Nice work. You can fire your claw with your weapon drawn as well. Try drawing your weapon before firing the clutch claw. That's it. Nice work. Okay. Let's move on. Hit a monster with your clutch claw to cling onto it. First, let's go over the weapon attacks you can use while clinging to a monster. The type of attack depends on which weapon you have equipped. The one you're wielding now will soften up a monster's hide. Before we move on, let's get the exact timing down. This is gonna be important, so pay attention. If the monster is moving, you're gonna have a tough time landing an attack while clinging on. Attack the monster first to make it flinch, and once it stops, hit it where it hurts. Okay. Okay, let's see if you can pull this off in practice. Pay close attention to the monster's moves and land your attack. No rush, wait for the monster to flinch. Okay. There, stop moving. Grab on. Attack with your weapon. Ah, nice work. Your attacks will be less likely to get deflected when targeting a spot you've softened up. If you're struggling to land a solid hit because the monster's hide is too thick, here's your answer. Let's move on. Okay. Okay, next we're gonna try to hit the monster's head while clinging onto it. It depends on the monster, but there are usually several body parts you can cling on to. You can move to different parts of the monster's body while clinging on to it, but you'll consume a lot of stamina. Oh, Make sure I to get your aim right before going for a particular body part. Okay. You'll need slinger ammo. Go find some and load up. Okay, so basically slinger ammo would be... Attack the monster first to make it flinch, and once it stops, hit it where it hurts. Oh, 
Oh wow. Oh, nice I work. see. I see, I that see. That attack will consume all of your slinger ammo, but it can knock back monsters. Let's move I on. see. I see, I see. Now let's look at how to attack with your clutch claw. You can use this attack when clinging onto a monster's head. Attack the monster first to make it flinch, and once it stops, hit it where it hurts. All right. Grapple on. Use a claw attack to force the monster to change. That's it. Nice work. Oh, I see. Let's try again. This consumes a lot of stamina, but it allows you to make the monster change direction with quick success. Uh oh. Looks like the monster is getting angry. When enraged, you won't be able to knock back monsters or get them to change course. Any monster becomes a threat if they're angry. Keep a close watch. When angry, monsters will be a lot more aggressive, so it's best to keep your distance for a while. Bam! Looks like it's calmed down. Let's move on. Right, now let's put everything you've learned so far into practice. This okay. attack makes use of your surroundings. I need to fire your slinger while clinging onto the monster's head to make it slam into walls. I this see. This will be a great opportunity to really wail on the monster. I this see. This is I your see. time to shine. Come on. Great job. Okay. Huh. Always keep an eye out for ways to use your environment to your advantage when hunting. Nice work. That covers everything. Plastic bin. I guess. Great Jagra's hide. I think I can make something new now. Report to ecological research team. So that would be nice. Great Jagras here, right? Okay. Ancient forest, known habitats. What is this reward? Physiology. Okay. Weak point, weak point, weak point. Breakable, breakable. Uh, okay. Drop material, Great Jagras claw. Great Jagras main. Great Jagras hide. Great Jagras claw. Okay. Low rank reward. Great chakras, okay. So I, I can see the research rewards for the parrot, ecology, brute wave run, wild spire waste, okay. Parrot reroute, okay, I see. Nice. I think I should be able to do something now. Or, uh, upgrade equipment. Aha! I can do this one now. Great Jagra's Blade. Or I can do Puke Puke Scale. I got two of it. 528. 528. 
I mean this one doesn't have any element but this one has paralysis element this will be really nice compared to poison right basically so let's do this one so let's do that I know it's uh, this one has blast for now but I want to try this and then I can do this one right all right uh, capture that Kuluaku. Optional. This one is done. Snatch the Snatcher, right? Capture Kuluyaku, right? Okay. Kuluyaku would be where? I don't know. We'll just go from southeast camp. Southwest camp. Let's go! Okay. Capture curse required to weaken the monster, trap the monster, use a tranquilizer to capture the monster alive. Be sure to bring the traps and tranquilizer you need with you. You'll find them in your item box or the supply box. Shock traps, pitfall traps, etc. Trank bombs, trank ammo, etc. Traps and tranquilizers can be crafted or bought from the provisional stockpile. You must significantly weaken a monster before you can capture it with tranquilizer. Okay. Once a monster's health is below enough for tranquilizer, it will begin to limp. I see. So when it starts to limp, then I can use tranquilizer. That's your cue to stop attacking and ready your traps. Uh, be careful not to deal too much damage to the monster. Okay. I see. Limping monsters will attempt to flee their nest in order to recover their health. Select a trap such as shock trap from the item list and uh, place it in the monster's path with E. Okay, once you snared the weakened monster, you are nearly done capturing it. It can also be effective to place... Okay. I see. Once you successfully snared a monster into your traps, select a trank bomb from the item list, press E to throw it at your target so it hits the monster's face. Once the monster is asleep, you can capture it. Okay. Okay. The goal of this quest is to capture the monster. You'll fail the quest if you slay it, so be careful. Okay, so I need to traps, right? So for that I need to craft some traps. Bounce bomb, large barrel bomb. A pit for shock trap, right? I can create this. So trap to thunderbug. Uh, they must have something the in the supply. you need to capture a monster are on site. Make absolutely sure you have trank bombs. That one's a must. Trank bomb, okay. So for this, let's do the Kuluyaku. Uh, I need to do the... Right. Yeah, I guess I can't place it here, huh? Okay, let's find this Kuluyaku. Where would it be? Quicksand patch. Gajau, Nullberry. Fine, let's just go. Hmm. Ah, I see. It's because I was in that area. Ah, there he is. Water moss. Come on. Used to craft tranquilizer. Okay. 
Item pouch. Hmm? Oh, there he is going. I need to find him. What's that? Give me that. Give me that. There he is. He's running away. Is he limping or not? I guess he is, right? Oh, come on. Now I need to do Trank Gun. He's limping now. But I use my shock trap already. Let me see if I can craft it again. I mean, I can craft this one. He's looking for me, right? Let's go there. Uh, hopefully, I can find something in the. Give me another trank one. Okay. Shock trap.
there he is. Are you limping? Oh, come on. Is he limping? Come on! Oh, come on! Okay, he's limping. Come on. Now, keep hitting it with train bombs until the effect kicks in. Come on. Got loose. Come on, don't give up. Try to capture it again. I don't have the... I don't have it. Can I craft it? Shock trap. I need the thunderbug. So I gotta find the thunderbug now. That'll be fine, I guess. Give me that. Uh, so let's remove that. Gilly mantle can now be used. I got the Thunderbug, so I, I need to craft that, right? So let's craft it again. Shock trap. Man, I gotta lose some of it. Shock trap, gunpowder. There he is. So they are fighting. Come on. Nice. Woo! You can't carve materials from a captured monster. However, you will receive more rewards than usual once the quest is over. Okay. Nice. Man, it takes time to capture that one. that more steam <laughs> 